Yer. Yer. What's good, Critiquer? Click, click. Yo, what's good, family? So today we have some more Lehigh. The only track that we've listened to by Lehigh was one, two, three, four. And we liked it, but we felt like there's probably some other tracks by Lehigh that we would like more. So here we go. We got Rose. This is off of the YG Family concert that we're building up to do. This is off of the set list. So let's see what this is about. Speaking of Rose, Rose is coming today. Yeah. Night at midnight. We're so hyped, man. Tonight at zero. Uh, at zero a.m. <laughs> That's what they put on Twitter, zero a.m. And I was like, what? I thought it was supposed to be 13 a.m. And then people were trying to tell me, it means 12 o'clock. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Just thought it was weird. All right. Rose, Lehigh, let's dive. Break down the lyrics afterwards. Oh, you seen that wolf? This sounds sad. felt like it felt sad it felt like she was talking about love always hurts you in the end or something every rose has its thorn 
mm -hmm. which makes you think of that song. <laughs> Every rose that have a stone. Just like every cowboy, you know it's shy. Sad, sad yeah. song. <laughs> her voice was beautiful. Her tone. Yes, she's a phenomenal singer. Oh my god! Like she kept switching it up and showing yeah. us more and more and more. She showed us that she can have this <clears throat> like uh, melancholy tone, like this real low tone, mm -hmm. like kind of sad. Like I was saying, like give me these these feels. I was in my bag. I just felt it. Like how every rose has a thorn, it's like the yin and the yang, you know, the right. negative and the positive. Yeah, and that, that's showing with the tempo of the track. Creative, I thought. Yeah. Like super creative, this whole track. The way the beat switches up, is it's fluid. It's not... Yeah. It doesn't switch up in a awkward way or anything. Mm -hmm. The hook was was strong. I like the hook. Yeah, I, really was, I was really feeling it. This is a song that I feel like I could see maybe to anyone doing. Well, there you go. That's why I feel that way, because it's written and composed and produced by Teddy. So no kidding. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> no kidding. That's why the production is on 10. Yeah. The production <laughs> was fire. All right. So she says, my love is like a red rose. It may be beautiful now, but my sharp thorns will hurt you. My love is like a red rose. Yes, I may be fragrant, but the closer you get, the more I'll, I'll hurt you. And it's your like nose. And your nose. Hurt your nose because... Roses really smell like poo poo poo. Roses really smell like poo poo poo. Yeah, roses really smell like poo poo poo. Anybody know that one? Shit. This song has a lot of references to other songs in my head. But like she's explaining her love. Like she said, my love is like a red rose. And she's literally explaining to you why it's just like a rose because it's beautiful. And you want to touch it, you're like, wow, that's beautiful. I want to pick that up. And then you're like, ow. You know, I just pricked myself because I, right. didn't, I didn't see the thorns. I just saw the beautiful rose. So I thought she was talking about how she gets hurt, but she's actually talking about how she hurts other people. Which is an interesting concept. Yeah. She says, don't look at me with that light glance. Don't speak of love easily. If you want my heart, you need to take my pain too. Because you will be pricked my, by my thorn someday. Ooh. Ooh, this is deep. Damn. Don't trust me too much. You don't know me that well. So just run away, run away. I said, ooh, okay. So she's saying, you're not ready for this baggage that will come later on when you love right. me. But it also seems like she's kind of being insecure in a way. Like she feels like she's always going to hurt somebody. It's like she feels unlovable. She feels like she's like, not worthy. Yeah. Like she feels like a ticking time bomb. Like she doesn't trust herself. Right. She's too changeable. So let's catch up to that spot. Gorgeous. Gorgeous voice. I love her low notes. Mm -hmm. Her low notes are great. She she has this nice range in her voice. Mm -hmm. But like I said, she nails that melancholy tone, that melancholy feel of that verse and everything that she's saying. So she said, don't love me. You don't know me that well yet. I said, run away, just run away. Don't come to me. My love is like a red rose. It may be beautiful now, but my sharp thorns will hurt you. So she repeats the same thing she said in the beginning. And then this right here, I think, is when she's rapping. Like, she, she kind of has, like, a rap flow going on. She, she says this pretty fast. Yeah. Seeing your confidence makes me feel so bad for you. Your confident footsteps towards me look so pitiful today. Emotions, that's an extravagance to me. Love, that's Obsession's best friend. 
So run away, just run away, because you and I must come to an end. So she's like, you're so confident that we're going to work out, but it makes me feel bad for you because I know that we're not. And then she's trying to explain why her partner shouldn't fall in love with her, because if they do, then, you know, that's Obsession's best friend. Like, they could become obsessed with her, and in the end, that's just going to cause more pain mm -hmm. and, and hurt them more. And then she says, every rose has its thorn, which, like you explained, every rose is beautiful, and that makes you want to grab it, makes you want to have it, but you grab it, and it's thorns there's thorns in the flower and it, you know it make your hand bleed prick you up so like it might look beautiful it might look nice to have but it's gonna hurt you is there's what a consequence saying. too yeah there's a consequence there's a price i think every rose has a thorn is a known saying about love you know love has a price mm -hmm. and then the rest of the song is the hook and we already explained all of that so let's finish out this track now that we know more about it, I'm definitely, I'm definitely feeling the vibe more. I'm getting where she's coming from. Them contacts, though. She has petals on her dress. It does. That's cool. I like how it relates. I'm trying to decipher these soldiers walking through like this jungle gym. It's like a war zone in a jungle gym. Yeah, there's guns. You know what I'm saying? I think. This is supposed to be a representation of how it's hard to have a relationship with the protagonist of this track. You gotta be on the defensive and, and ready to- Ready to fight for ready it. Ready to fight, yeah, you gotta fight for it and you gotta Face maneuver obstacles. yourself around these <laughs> obstacles and stuff. That's yeah. basically what she's saying. Rose has a storm. Every rose has a storm. Oh. Every mm. rose has a storm. I love that. So just run away. Run away. I said, oh, oh, oh. I said, oh, oh, oh. The time has to mark. When I ask, child, more. I said, run away. Just run away. I've got OG. Those are the lyrics right there in English. This is a vibe, bro. The Damn. production on here is great. I love this hook. It's like, 
it's got this sad feel to it, this melancholy feel, but at the same time, it's a it's kind of a bop. Like it's just. But at the same time, is she is she coming from a in an ins from an insecure place or from a self worth place and saying, you know, if you want if you want to love me, you gotta love all of me. You know, the ugly, the the pretty, all of it. Like you gotta be able to handle me when I'm emotional. You gotta be able right. to handle my baggage, everything from my past that you before I met you whatever baggage i have from before that you have to be able to take that and fight for me and handle it i think it could be either or it's like a double entendre to me i feel right like. it it's could like both but also maybe from the perspective of like just knowing that you're not looking to settle down right now and just wanting something casual mm -hmm. so like you know oh it sucks that you're really trying to fall in love with me right now because i'm not looking for anything serious and I know I'm gonna move on from you. Right. Type of thing. Like she's just being really honest, straightforward. Right. She could also be saying like, yeah, like, you see me on, you see me on ma magazines and on TV and stuff and everything. So you think I'm just perfect and I'm just this perfect rose, but like, I'm a real person, with real emotions too. Mm hmm Don't put me on that pedestal and, and expect me to be perfect. I think it's an awesome track. Yeah. Overall. Yeah, I like this. I like this more than one, two, three, four. I agree. For sure. But you know they do have different vibes, but I really like this one. Her voice was really strong, and like in this, I could really hear the different parts of her voice. Mm-hmm. Right, like when she was doing them low tones, man. Mm-hmm. I thought Teddy did a great job writing this track. I just, it just felt like everything fits. You know, just a solid track. Yeah, super, it is. Super solid track, man. This just uh, made me like Lehigh some more. Mm -hmm. And I'm definitely more interested in some more Lehigh. So I thought we had one more Lehigh track to do before the YG Family concert. And that track was If I Were You, but I just found out that that song is actually a 21 track. And Lehigh and 21 performed that together at the YG Family concert. So If I Were You by 21 is added to the YG Family concert, things that we needed to do. But we're done with Lehigh for the concert. So guys, we only have five more tracks before the YG Family concert. So I'm trying to get there soon. So stay on the look for those breakdowns. It's uh, four to anyone tracks and one Epic High track. But thank you guys for critiquing with us. We love every single one of you guys. If you guys want to stay tuned for the YG Family concert and future Lehigh reactions, because believe me, I'm trying to get into that song she has with B.I. Um, and if you like this video, don't forget to click, click, and I'll catch you sexy bunions in the next one. You stay classy, critic, out. Shut out.